it wasn't until two years ago, which was, you know, eight years into my SolidWorks journey, right, that I learned it. Uh, but it, it makes applying mates easier without extra rotating and, you know, uh, trying to zoom in to get a face on the other side of a bar, basically. So we'll start with this model here. And the bottom little, I don't actually know what this is, but the bottom little dark looking thing is made it already. But the top one is still moving. And the idea is that we want to concentrically make the inside of the dart to this little prong. And I could, you know, turn it around and zoom in and click that face. But the select other allows me to click and in the little fly up here, the first corner is select other. And then it literally just makes the face that I'm looking at transparent. So I can click, uh, do it one more time. If, uh, there we go. So I can click the inside and then do the normal control click. And now that's made it. But then the same thing, you know, I can, I could rotate the model to coincidence, mate this face to this face. Or again, I could click select other and there's that face. Click control click. Oh, no, I didn't control click. I don't use a laptop very often. The FN button messes me up every time. <laughs> so there's that. And then coincidentally. And then we will just throw a parallel made in there to fold it to find it. Super simple, but it's one of those that either not many people know about it or people don't think to share it, I guess. Uh, yeah, that was a, it was definitely a game changer in my uh, professional career.